how do you deal with not trusting the work that you're doing? Well, that's a good question. Well, first off, I would, I would ask a response question to that is why don't you trust? You know, you get to figure out what you're not trusting of. Are you not trusting your ability to understand story? Are you not trusting your ability to create character? Are you not trusting your ability to execute, to perform? Are you not trusting your ability to move through a story moment to moment? Are you not trusting yourself in understanding the character, in creating the character? You know, we had a, uh, at the studio, we had a big uh, conversation yesterday about trying to understand how to create character, not just through intimacy, but through imagination, through understanding story, but to know that the, the creation of character is vast. It is not limited. It can happen through a lot of different ways. There is no one way in which to approach character work. There is no one way in which to approach audition. There is no one way in which to approach your craft. So you want to always keep your eye on everything that works for you even if it's music, even if it's journaling, even if it's something that doesn't feel or feels tangential to what you're actually trying to accomplish. But I would always say the first elements that we always mistrust is something that we're not surrendering to or accepting of ourselves. And usually that comes down to something about how we see ourselves, some judgment that we're holding on to, and if we fight that judgment, if we push that ju or resist what that judgment is, it gets in our head, and that thing that gets in our head becomes the thing that we don't trust about ourselves. Whether it's we're not good enough, whether it's I don't know how to do this, whether it's even simply asking for support or help. Um, a lot of the times when we get into uh, get caught not trusting, we don't feel we can share it, and I think a lot of the, a lot of not sharing it keeps us isolated and keeps us trying to be our own therapist and work it out ourselves. Never, never a healthy place to be. So I would say the first place is to share it, to be specific about what you don't trust and talk about it with people that you know, people that you trust and people that you respect. A lot of the times, guys, you know, I cannot tell you enough to read autobiographies of actors and artists and to hear how they dealt with it. You know, a lot of all artists at some point deal with not trusting their own work, not trusting their own talent, not trusting their own capability. But they find a way to fight through it. And if you can, if you read and look at a lot of different autobiographies, you can, and not just from artists, by the way, politicians, uh, actors, writers, every, you know, uh, engineers, scientists, um, you know, uh, corporate, you know, CEOs, the more that you see how they find a way, maybe you can get inspired to find a way yourself. But I know it starts with sharing. I know it starts with opening up about what you don't trust and about surrendering to it for yourself and accepting that it's not necessarily a point of debilitation, but it can be a point to transform.